when I was in college, I dealt with uh, chronic fatigue syndrome, the autoimmune disease, which uh, drastically uh, compromised my professional career. The dream of being a pro, that dream, which, hey, you know, through six games, I had five sacks. So, my senior year. So if I stayed on pace and let's say ended that season with double digit sacks and stayed healthy and got stronger before a combine, who knows what could have happened. Nothing wrong with dreaming, you know, but dream big dreams and expand them so that uh, because everybody can't be a great athlete or are going to have a huge long career. So expand it. See, uh, what, what, what could I do in the sport that I love? It's people who were there, who experience, who can talk to young people, who can relate to them, what they've gone through, you know, uh, what the future can be. I mean, I went through all these things they went through. James went through all these things that they're going to go through. Well, the Athletes Council is a community of former professional athletes. And what we do is we empower student athletes and their parents uh, to really create a successful playbook for life and sports. The Athletes Council, and it is, I think it is an amazing organization. It, it's a community of athletes, not just athletes, student athletes, but parents. Uh, I think it's like, it's a 360. I think it's about the athletes and the parents and the people you impact. What I wish I knew then, uh, how very um, pertinent those business classes would end up being for me out here in the business world. I wish that I knew academically uh, how talented I was, how gifted I was. I felt like I was often in situations where that wasn't um, as, a, as a sportsman and as an uh, African-American male, that wasn't typically the image that we saw of ourselves. Get that degree. It doesn't matter what you're majoring in because that's an accomplishment. I wish I didn't have to wait till I was 65 to have some sense. <laughs> Those were great moments as a youngster, and, and I knew I could get a job. I mean, I knew that I was capable. So I didn't worry so much about what my future was going to be because I felt like whatever the challenge was, I could meet it. But you got to take what you got every day and enjoy it and believe in it and know that you're the richest person in the world.